That's part then, of the contract. Hey, then, then they move on to Curdy, and then maybe Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, we'll I'll we'll just rag it out. The a, Sherry, car- a carousel. And Sherry's just going to dye it all brown so it looks like dirty steak and cheese. I mean, you want some extra money, right? You can, you can loan out Allie for six months. Yeah, but he's married, so she goes last. <laughs> well, password's married. Oh, yeah. All right, yes, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Now, I got a question about this Alabama guy, okay? So he's going to pay someone $10,000 to hook him up with a girlfriend for six months. He's clearly an only child. He, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a Harvard graduate. Child. He's a Harvard graduate he, who works as a private equity uh, associate, so he makes Has he not heard point. of online dating? He I has. Mean, he's it's had, a lot he's cheaper. Tried. He's no, tried no, it. You guys are missing the point. He's from Alabama, so he's clearly either an only child or he has brothers. Otherwise, yeah, he, he would, would have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> His sister. I see what you did there. Yes. Thank you. But he, he's gone over 30 dates in the last 10 months and uh, no, no results. So he's putting this out there, folks. If you want to... Uh, get get up with this guy if you think you you have what That's it takes. That's an expensive ass right there. Yeah. So it, if he's hey, got money and he still can't now, find a girlfriend after thirty days, what if the girl finds him and decides to go out with him? Is he going to give her ten grand? Good question. He will in the long run. Oh so, yeah. Now it's starting to make sense. See, Nelly and I both clicked at the same time in that one. We're like, oh. You know what? Maybe this guy should move to Germany. And let me tell you why. German Social Network is seeking a prostitute tester. I read this story when you sent it over. It's great. (laughs) Klomfitch.com. Klomfitch.com. K-A-U-F-M-I-C-H.com, which means buy me in German, has just announced it's hiring a full-time prostitute tester. Uh, his willingness to lie down on the job is a requirement if you get <laughs> their drift. So, so they're hiring some guy to go out to, to the red light district and basically review. review. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and it's, pre- it's pretty much like a, a, a secret shopper for prostitutes. See, I thought my dream job was to I test cars. Lover. You know, I'd love to be like a, like a top gear or you know, somebody that gets to test cars for a living. But I think that job would, would trump that. I mean, mm, he, you're fired. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think is the, you know how like when the economy crashed and people, uh, every time there was a job opening, people were besieged by resumes. How many resumes do you think that this, this company is getting for this job? And what do you put on your resume to make you qualified <laughs> for the job? What do you put on your resume after this job is over and you're seeking your next job? That's a good point. <laughs> well, uh, So, sir, why did you leave your, pa- your previous job? Uh... Did he get laid off? <laughs> because he gave too many people a hand. Oh. <laughs> but well, I mean, but you know, but th- this job's clearly got some risk borne with it, though. I mean, you know, you got to figure the in, the health insurance plan has got to be very expensive <laughs> for this job. <laughs> It'd be worth it. Do they just give you penicillin as soon as you apply? <laughs> Well, that's why you move to Ebor, isn't it? Every day you go home with uh, penicillin. You shots. just take the Z pack with you. Isn't that built into your lease? <laughs> I gave my girlfriend some penicillin once. Give her a nice shot. Just once. <laughs> <laughs> that was really just one. Story of his life. That was like eight years ago. <laughs> hey, she's still around. You must have done something right for 30 seconds. <laughs> Did you give her a head start? <laughs> <laughs> I gave her head. <laughs> Wow, it doesn't sound like you have a girlfriend. Wow. <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> is it, is, is, I didn't, Sherry's a lady boy? She's a lady boy. Her name is. Get never, it right. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I had a reference that might offend uh, one of our listeners who's not a listener at all, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you're talking uh, about uh, Rickshaw? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're talking about She Hulk? Paddle Toad. Yes. Uh, Paddle oh. Toad? <laughs> Can I can I do my impersonation? Yes. Does that have to do with <laughs> CrossFit by chance? It yeah, does. pretty much. Yeah, I'm gonna hold that? on. I'm gonna do my uh, do it, do it. I'm do gonna it. do my rickshaw impersonation real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I wish the audience could actually see what I'm doing. So do I'm, I. He had his hand on his crotch and he was violently as I'm angrily him. rubbing my uh, yes. My special place. His vagina. <laughs> Your muff his cabbage. Hope, his Hope Solo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you see those Hope Solo pictures? No. 
<laughs> Dude, did you guys see those Hope Solo I didn't, pictures? I no. didn't. I don't even want it, to anymore. It was like a train wreck. I couldn't stop looking. Oh, what? God. <laughs> Chair, please. The what? great the great Jason Wood was sending those pictures out to everybody last week during the World Cup. Which ones? Uh, the Hope Solo pictures. What pictures, for f- sake? Oh, uh, of, uh, don't look. Of her two uh, 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 she caves. <laughs> Which are quite cavernous. Of Solo 1 and Solo oh, 2. Oh, no yes. way. Were they all friggin' steak and cheese? Done? It might be the ugliest yeah. one I've ever seen. I mean, Miggy, it looked like you need like a, si- a side of au jus for it. Oh, was oh. it the grenade at the deli counter yes. situation? Yeah, oh, it was, yes. dude. It was very distended and, and, and dark. You got to part the curtains to enter. Yes. Oh, were they theater curtains? <laughs> yes, they oh, were. Yeah. Yeah. Like, was Wicked playing behind it? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> You, you definitely didn't want to go backstage for that event. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Am I in yet? You've been in for 30 minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, Jeremy Stevens busted that out, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> I got a little quiet for a second there. <laughs> Why do you got your sunglasses on now? Is that like a cool thing? Does that scare That whole situation that. scared me. I might tear up. <laughs> I thought she was kind of cute, and now I'm just like, Ugh. oh. you got to see the picture. You won't think she's cute anymore, buddy. Oh. No. <laughs> no wonder, no wonder somebody. She's beating people up. She's I probably mean, beating up her vagina too. Dude, that's that, that's like when you go bowling and you find the one ball where they they bored the holes way too big. It's called the seven ten. <laughs> How, how did that how'd that go, Ben? You know, somebody had like Fred Flintstone fingers, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they bored, <laughs> they bored those holes way too big. So uh. what you're saying is Pierre Paul couldn't use that ball. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> He's a sixty yeah. million dollar joke right there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not sixty million anymore, buddy. They rescinded that off. You know, you, if you're gonna blow he your fingers, he did go to USF. Now we we understand. True. More. Hey, wait a second. I went to USF. Oh. Oh, that, expl- that explains lot. a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I do an unpaid radio show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're gonna blow your fingers off in fireworks, you should probably sign your contract for sixty million dollars before yeah. you do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. That's the that's the stereotypical one where where you're like, well, I'm worth more. Well. No, you're not. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Sorry for your luck. Why? W- why would you wait? If if someone puts a sixty million dollar contract in front of me, I'm signing it as soon as I see it. I'm not yeah. going to procrastinate signing my sixty so million dollar contract. Have you seen? That I'd sign that bitch with a crayon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you seen that HBO show, uh, Ballers? Yes. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there's your there's your answer right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Is that good? All their hang your honors. It's okay. Can't. So far. It's horrible. It's a horrible yeah, show. Yeah, I don't think it's all that. Yeah. I'm, oh I'm well. kind of disappointed with it. Considering the cast, I thought it would be better. I, I went it's in thinking Ballers. that. It's called Ballers. That's just a queer-ass name right there. It is. But I no thought they were going to thought they were gonna highlight. Listeners. I thought they were going to highlight something about the, you know, about sports stars in general. And it's just turned into the same old shit you see on every movie. Yeah, it's like a stereotypical football type of, yeah. It's like every trope from a football movie you could ever want to see. Ex- yeah. Yeah, and, and it's, I don't know, it's just, when you look at the programming that's on HBO, and there's so many great programs on there, it just doesn't seem like it fits fits the mold. But well, you gotta, you got to have one crappy one. Yeah, well, they're, they're, they've got it there, that's for sure. But one last thing to get into before we get into break. Um, you know, we talk about... You know, jobs that are out there, but how about losing your job? I mean, there's a lot of reasons why. Like we said, you know, if you're the prostitute tester, you're eventually you might get laid off. This guy got laid off because he apparently wanted to test something else out, <laughs> and that was called uh, interspecies marriage, apparently. Yeah, but the, the whole thing about this, this was a huge joke, right? This guy admits that uh, he was likening uh, the whole same-sex marriage to an animal wedding, and it's obviously kind of a cliche situation, but Ryan Uller thought uh, he, he'd be funny when he compared uh, marrying his dog to same-sex marriage, but he, you know, it backfired on him huge. I well, have to see. Well, he made he made one huge flaw in this, and, and he and, sure did. Well, you know, he made a joke. He said, "You know, I love my dog. I should be able to marry my dog then if I love my dog." Okay, I get it. You're you're opposed to gay marriage. Everybody, you know, that's the great thing about this country. Everybody's allowed to have whatever freaking feeling you want. He's kind of a troll. Want. He's kind of a Facebook yes, stir- the, pot stirring the, the guy. Pr- the problem he has with this though is his job itself. Yeah. And this goes back to the whole freedom of speech. Everybody says I can say what I want. Yeah, you can, but there's going to be consequences. Now, this guy was stupid enough. His job is the head of digital marketing, which basically means his job is to play on social media. So, when you when your job is to play on social media for your job, you don't go on social media and stir the shit like that. It was just like the Paula Dean one where she re- did you see that? Uh-uh. Where they where Paula Dean's uh 
social media person retweeted that photo of her dressed up as uh, no, it was her her son. He had brown face. Yeah, on. he had brown face. No, he did. It's called black face, but the no, no, it, no, it was it brown. Was brown face because it, like, it was like they were doing really a play. Right, but they, 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 you, you call it black face. No, they no, called it brown face. They were doing brown face. No, you got to listen to the story before you tell us what face is supposed to be. So they were doing a theme of <laughs> I Love Lucy. So her son My was bad. playing um, Desi. Yeah. So he's Latin, so it's brown face. There we go. I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's brown face. And it was a retweet from two years ago. Right. After the whole Paula Dean thing. I mean, that kind of plays along that. Ouch. Of course, they took it down. They took it down right and then away. Fired yeah, but once, the guy. It, hey, once it's on there, it's it's usually on there. So that picture probably got saved, and now it's everywhere. Well, that's oh, the whole yeah. thing. You just. But yeah. it was it was from two years ago, and it was retweeted, and it was how stupid could you be to be the head of the, her social media yeah, site that's to not retweet stir something backlash. after her last ordeal? Right. I yeah. just don't understand it. But I mean, that, that's the thing. You, you have the right to see, to say and do whatever you want, but there's going to be consequences, especially in this politically correct world we live in now. Which is, it's a shame that you can no longer say something without getting backlash. But especially when your job is social media based, you got to be careful what you say and do. You know, if if you're a construction worker, okay, go out and say whatever the hell you want to say. But when your job is to go on and post on social media and, and do gi- digital marketing and things like that. You shouldn't be, even if it's your own personal account. Have some, have some, have some sense not to do something stupid like that. I mean, uh, I, I, I agree. I don't disagree with what the guy said. I mean, as far as he has a right to say that. Yeah, it's funny if he wants to make a little joke, stir the pot up a bit. Everyone, well, but you does have it. to expect the consequences. Yeah. Well, you have to do what fits the job. Like I, I would love to get arms, my sleeves done, tattoo wise and whatever. But I work in some people's houses. I work for a lot of wealthy people that look down upon stuff like that. And it's just like, if I want to make a lot of money and keep making a lot of money like I do, I know that. But you cover your arms most of the time when you visit customers, don't you? I work with wealthy people all the time. I just wear a long sleeve dress shirt. Okay, but, but you cover it up. Yeah. But okay, but I'm saying I can't, can't work outside and cover it up. That's freaking hot. I agree. You know, you it's have to. You, you have you to play carry your cards yourself. right. Yeah. Wait a second. Wait a second. You could have sleeves, tattoo sleeves, and you could cover it up working outside if if, if. you had a Columbia vintage shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Boom. Hey, I'm skinny, for one. So I don't know, I'm just kidding. I wear the anti sweat. <laughs> don't you look at me like hey, that, hey. Mr. Round is a shape. Hey, you know what? I, I'm skinny, too, when I wear my Columbia <laughs> Vented shirt. Because exactly. they make those things I, huge. I guess they I do. started I a am trend a, in this I group. am a medium in Columbia. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you say you're a medium in Columbia? Yeah, I swear to God, I wear a medium shirt in Columbia. <laughs> hey, Caleb, you're not a medium. You just think you are. <laughs> hey, uh-huh. my, you gotta, my shirt says medium. It's, yeah, it's, you got to peel that bitch off there. What was there. that medium that used to say? Yes. <laughs> Extra medium. Actually, for the, um, you know, now that I'm, I'm a, a larger man since I've moved to Ybor City, uh, <laughs> Lord Cheese was asking me what size I wanted for my uh, Tottenham fan club shirt. Oh, yeah. I told him instead of a medium, I now want a slarge. <laughs> <laughs> are you in the Tottenham fan? Are you following that thing now? Tottenham fan club? Oh, it's just an excuse to hang out and get drunk, basically. <laughs> I bought us some stuff, I, by the way. You need to go Bermuda. there wearing, like, a Liverpool shirt one day. <laughs> Lord Cheese and I started earlier today at Ford's Garage. Oh, did you? Yes. Oh, nice. On what? <laughs> we went and had drinks at Ford's Garage earlier. Was yeah. it good? Oh, it was delish. No, was, the, it, was, was the place good? Except for the damn horn that they have that they just keep buzzing. What? All. They've got this Ford car that sits up, and it blows smoke out its tail end, and they just honk the horn on it nonstop. That, that would be annoying. It is. Now, if you drop a drink, do they charge you a whole bunch to fix the glass? I'm just, <laughs> just kind of curious. Did you see a lot of trannies there? Transmissions. I mean. uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but they had a lot of people dressed up as Ninja Turtles in there today. Really? Huh? A little odd. What? So Christina was there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lady boy, lady boy. <laughs> Oh, uh, Rick. All right, well, does, guys. That, does that have to do with Rick Shaw by chance? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> All right, well, guys, we're going to go into a quick commercial break. Now, when we get back, we're going to get into some stories about fines, about winning money. It's all about money, which, you know, as a Jew, is a particular favorite money, segment of mine. Lots and lots of money. You've seen people who have straightened up from the TV show Intervention. This is a story of those who have been left behind. Man, we can't even find anything, man. Your boy won't even talk to us without you around. It's time to bring the recovering addict back to where he belongs. 
Remember the last time we went out, we had them two hoes? And Freddy's with that crazy tranny. I love you, man, but I need someone I can take advantage of. Join us tonight for the premiere episode of Free Intervention. Real life. Real drama. Real junkies. I heard you was trying to go back to school, man.